now we can start on uh, getting some uh, surface coat on this stuff. Okay, so today we're going to start with 1096. Comes in a part A and a part B, which is essentially like the hardener with this epoxy. It is a high temperature surface coat, um, which is like similar to like a tooling gel coat type stuff. Um, but for prepreg, you need stuff that's going to uh, withstand high temperatures, like 300 degrees and up. So uh, you can technically get away with like 270 degrees, but this stuff is exactly what you want. Um, it's nice because it dries a little faster than some other brands, which might take like four hours to dry in between surface coats. Um, but this is actually my first time using 1096, so we get to learn together. Um, like always, I call fiberglass and I double check. Um, if you ask for Michelle, she's the goat there. She uh, knows everything. So ask her before you make huge mistakes with expensive products, if you don't really know. <laughs> or you can just watch this video. We'll hopefully hit the nail on the head, but we'll see. You want to start with uh, measuring out your 1096. I've been told you can use a brush or you can use a spreader and it's similar to like a thinner body body filler. So I might use the spreader just because that's like natural and makes sense to me. Uh, all my years in the doing body work here at the shop and you mix I believe it's a hundred parts of part A to 12 parts uh, part B which is like the hardener and when you open the 1096 part B it does have this little thing that says uh, cut this out um, so you can cut it out but what I like to do is get a little uh, some pliers, just pinch the corner without destroying the threads of it, you just pop the whole boy out. A little pro tip there for you, Let's see how much I can mix it while it's... The scale is not the best, it's accurate, it's just slow though. That might be about the amount I can mix. I'm going to make a little trough. A little note, if you will, in the center here, so I can pour the hardener in here. Okay, it's only 10. My problem is I have to mix this, we're doing such a big mold, I have to mix this in a big quantity, and uh, these mixing boards are not made for quantities this big, so I'm probably pushing the limits here. I'm about to abandon this idea. Go right into a cup. Um, so I'm going to continue to do this backwards and now put it back on this mixing table. How much light body filler is this? Yes. It does feel just like it actually. <laughs> There is uh, spread uh, Evercoat Metal Glaze. This feels just like that. So we're gonna make sure it's even and consistent. And then we also wanna look for air bubbles. The, uh, this already looks really good actually. The yeah, other one. brand stuff that we had tried in the past. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna shit talk anybody. Um, like as we were brushing it on, we were getting like tons of air bubbles and it uh, actually ruined the mold we made. So we won't be doing that again. But. Toffee.